Um, so we have the, um, um, we structure with the team. So I now look after all the uh, buying side uh, for all regions, yeah. but still I look after the Australian myself. Yep. Are you still here or are you? Oh, of course I'm here. Yeah. yeah okay. no, just that I, uh, I, fi I finish up with a, I've got a very large a uh, picture of the dead arm looking at me. And now I've got you in tiny bits and pieces. There you are. Yeah. Oh, I've got your back. So what did you, uh, what did you, what did you, what did you have uh, for, for your lunch? What did you oh, no, it's just a local restaurant. It does gourmet pizzas and a few other things. Nice salads, nice pizza, um, a nice, actually a very nice creme brulee for dessert. I don't normally have dessert, but. It's my birthday. So what the heck? And and you 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 looking you looking well. You thank you. you. Thank yeah, you. you look well. The, yes, I hope so. I hope so. I'm trying to I'm trying to stay alive to annoy people. How's how's Peter? Peter's well. You know he's a father. Peter has a little girl. Yes, Sadie. No, he's well. He he really is well. And uh, spoke to him tonight and. Um, all the children are well. No, it's, it's, and the company is still going okay. You got that sparkling turned up in time. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. We move. We moved heaven and earth to get that to you on time. I know. You were the first people in the world to get it. I know. I know. We appreciate that. You had it. You had it. You had it on sale before we had it on sale. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know we are thirsty. We need. We cannot travel, so we need to have something. Oh, yeah, I know. I, Clive said, we've got to hurry up. Ben's taken to alcohol in a big way. We've got to get some wine for him. Yeah. And also, um, on this, uh, Clive is also very helpful to uh, to talk to you, um, you to make sure that the shipment won't delay. And uh, I so happen, I found out that I also talked to the Yalamba guy, and then they also realised how urgent it is. Um, yes. so they all help. Uh, it's very good. We've got a good team, and um, oh, look, yeah, we work. As you know, the General and Clive have been working together <laughs> yeah. when he was in your job. That's a long time ago. And uh, uh, yeah, and Hong Kong is still a strong market for us. It's a good market. It's a market that we, um, we, 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 it's precious to us, you guys. We, you know, and we've had a good team for a long time. Indeed. We treasure our friendship and partnership. Yeah. And, um, and the wines haven't changed, and our prices are still good. So, yeah. yeah. No, the, the the wine has changed. Changed better. Yep, it's all good. We're looking <laughs> after you, Ben. I get worried about my nephew, Ben. All right. <laughs> oh, Clive is back. Back on back. A, on an iPad this time. I don't know what's wrong with the computer. There you go. Back now. I shouldn't stop. So so Clive, your fingers. Um, your fingers in the camera. Oh, it is on the yeah. You're right because it's an iPad well, and it's That's not look, it's not looking the right way. Um, chaos. Switch right. camera. No, that's your guitar. Oh no, I've got a guitar. <laughs> it's definitely the. I can't actually see me on the screen. Am I? Uh, I'm actually going to go off in terms of vision because it's down to you guys in about one minute. Hey, quickly uh, before we go, you know how we were talking about Fender six strings. Fitzy yeah. here has what Fitzy who works for me has one. Oh really? Ah. Okay. Six string bass. Yep. There ah. you go. Well, there you go. And that I mean that is news. Um, yeah. There you news are. to me. I did my best. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, good, good. Um, so um what are we now? Fifty nine minutes? Nearly. We've got, a, we've got a minute about a minute left before yeah. you can just have to disappear. We will stop very soon. Yep. Thank yeah, God. you can get rid of, get rid of me. You have got rid of me. <laughs> you can got you yeah. can get rid of the guitar. I've got the dead arm instead of Uncle Prof. I've got the dead arm. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Um, <laughs> right, so I'm going to take me out and I'll just listen. All right? All right, thanks. Nobody, nobody really needs me. Um, there's, th there's three of you perfectly capable. I will be... I'll, I'll put you on my TV. <laughs> I'll be good. <laughs> right. All right, so... I'll speak, I'll, I'll speak to you afterwards, Claude. Yeah, okay, no problem. I'll be here. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. So maybe we start now. Yep. <clears throat> yeah.
見係。啊，大家好啊，歡迎翻到嚟我哋屈身沙啊！咁跟住可能如果你有留意我哋屈身 Squine 嘅客嘅人，可能都知道啦。咁今個月我哋啱啱咧就轉咗 promotion 嘅。咁一個 theme 咧就係、是、我哋今個月咧就會做呢個南澳嘅推廣嘅。咁同埋先講完咗，今日又有啦。係啊，係啊，埋一次咁啊、呃。所以我哋又今次咧，因為就做南澳嘅推廣啦，咁所以我哋就增加咗一個特別嘅環節，咁就係南澳嘅 Western s t a r 嘅。咁咧今日咧，咁我哋呢個 Western s t a r 咧，我哋就會講下其實南澳呢個地方，咁首先喺邊度先啦。咁跟住同埋有啲咩 icon 嘅酒喺度當中嘅。哇！我哋有有多唔多時間先？因為澳洲好大喎，係啦，基上全個世界所有嘅產區，如果要逼埋一齊嘅話咧。係可以 fit 落成個澳洲嗰、那個，誒、欸、咁，所以今日咧，咁我哋只係講南澳嘅啫。OK， 咁其實南澳喺邊咧？咁其實我哋可能可以 show 個 map 出嚟先嘅，係啦。咁其實南澳啦，咁其實當然啦，咁就係澳洲嘅南部嗰度啦。咁其實佢佢咧就係喺維多利亞省隔離嘅。咁其實咁南澳嗰度咧，咁其實如果你講個城市咧，你可能就會知道啦。咁其實可能好多人都會去過一個地方，就叫亞德萊德，係啊 ，Adelaide 嘅。咁其實咧，南澳成個省就係咁樣，亞德萊德就係佢嘅。誒、嗯、嗰、那個 capital city 啦，即係中上雲霄，誒係啦係啦，飛機嗰度係啦，係穿上飛機誒<笑>飛機師的風衣啊！咁其實咧今日咧我哋就會講四個酒莊嘅，咁係睇四個唔同嘅 region 嘅。咁首先啊，咁我哋有個白酒嘅 region 啦，咁都叫做 Care Valley 嘅。咁晏啲我哋會講啦。咁 Care Valley 嘅就喺北部少少，咁其實咧咁佢就會係涼少少嘅，因為佢、那個嗰、那個位誒嗰、那個即係誒 altitude 就會高啲嘅，咁所以令到佢可以種到 whisky。咁另外啦，咁我哋南下啦，咁我哋去到近 e d i n b u r g 嗰啲城市啦，咁其實我哋會去到誒、嗯，會去到 Bowser Valley， 咁 Bowser Valley 就內陸少少啦，咁同埋佢又暖啲嘅，咁其實呢個就一個差唔多係即係澳洲其中一個好多出名嘅酒都會喺南澳嗰度出產嘅，咁陣間會講點解嘅。咁另外啦，咁講完爆曬之後咧，咁我哋都會再揾另一個 region 咧，咁都係近一定嚟嘅，咁但係近海邊啲，咁就係 m a c k e n z i 嘅。OK， 咁 m a c k e n z i 同爆曬嗰個最唔同咧，就因為 m a c k e n z i 咧，咁佢近海啦，咁佢有嗰啲海風吹埋嘅，咁可以 moderate 嗰個氣候，咁所以個 style 又好唔同嘅。咁、okay. 其實再落啲啦，咁我哋今日最後會講個 region 咧，就叫 Kunlara， 咁去到好南噶啦。咁其實嗰度咧，咁最特別嘅地方咧係咩咧？咁其實係個 soil， 咁陣間就會講啦，因為佢有一個好特別嘅泥土啦，咁就令到佢係。誒、嗯，即係好有獨特嘅味道嘅嗰啲酒，係、okay. 啊。咁其實再講翻，其實南澳其實一個好特別嘅地方咧，其實佢係一個即係如果酒業嚟講咧，佢喺澳洲嚟講係舉足輕重嘅，即、就、係、是、差唔多佢係出產咗全個澳洲嘅餐酒一半嘅產量，所以你嗰啲諗下五十個 percent， 即係其實好誇張。同埋我記得喺我開始飲酒即係好耐年之前咧，咁、啊、如果講起澳洲酒嘅話，大家都會講起即係南澳啊，通常你又飲有 Cabernet Sauvignon 啊。或者有 Shiraz 啦，通常都嚟自南澳呢個地方。同埋講起 Shiraz 或者其他提子都係嘅。其實南澳其中一個最得天獨厚嘅地方咧，就係佢有一啲舉世無雙嘅老樹藤啦，即係佢有極多嘅。誒、嗯、老樹藤即係差唔多係過百年嘅，係、嗯、啊，即係有有好多都係直情過百年添嘅。咁其實例,例如啦，咁其實有一個莊就叫 h a n s k y 嘅，誒、嗯、或誒或者誒。嗯即係佢哋咁老咧，就即係證明佢哋嗰啲根就係可以生得好好好好好。誒係啦，可以去到好嗱，就例如啦，咁就土誒土呢度出現啦，就係 Hanshi 呢個 Grace Vine， 咁其實佢就即係過咗一百三十歲，一百六零年開始種。咁啊，因為佢係老樹藤啦，咁其實佢啲根去到好底啦，可以攞到多啲唔同嘅 mineral 啦。同時間啦，最緊要就係因為佢因為老樹藤咧，咁其實佢個腰就會低啲，咁令到佢本身嘅菩提子咧就會 concentrate 啲嘅。哦，就會濃郁啲嘅。係啦，咁其實講到依度先啦。咁其實我哋講 general 啦，冇講到依度先。咁其實咧，我哋今日咧就有一個特別嘅嘉賓嚟咗嘅。係啦，點解咧？因為通常咧，就好似得我哋兩個人就係啦。<笑>通常我哋都會有啲誒誒，有啲嘉賓會係啦，我哋加埋一齊嘅。好啦，咁今日好特別咧，我哋就揾到喺誒佢啱啱食完飯啦，佢所以可以裝我哋一齊嘅。咁啊，阿阿阿阿 Frankie 都同佢好熟噶啦，咁不如 Frankie 你介紹。哎，好啊，咁我哋依家就轉窗啦。係啊 ，So today we have a very special guest, yeah, from Australia to join us in the live. So and he is um, you know, owner, the founder of the Magella Winery in Kunarara. His name is Brian, aka Prof, the professor. Yep. So Prof, good to see you here. Hey, Frankie, Ben, how are you? Hello, everyone. Excellent. Yeah, and I'm I'm well. I hope you guys are well. I hope it, I hope it's good in Hong Kong. It's been so long since I've been to Hong Kong. It must be two years, something like that. And I miss Hong Kong. I love Hong Kong. 
And I bet you still make your char siu bao at home, right? <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> See, Ben knows that I, that I do happen to like good Hong Kong food. Excellent. Excellent. I like Asian food in general, which is one of the reasons, you know, between um, Hong Kong and Singapore and PRC and all the other bits, of, and Malaysia and Thailand, all the other bits that I really do like to go. And it's, I miss you guys. And you're a good market, very good market for South Australian wine in particular, and for Magella especially. Um, yes. I think Magella's been working with Watson's for a hell of a long time, so since well, 1999 or 98 or something like that. It's a long well, time ago. You, you, your, your, your wine can age, and, uh, but you don't age, so you, you still look the same <laughs> as like 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you're, look, you're looking, you must change your glasses, Ben. <laughs> yeah, I need a new glasses, I can't read it. I'm getting a new. Yeah, so, so Paul, yeah, maybe can you introduce a bit about Magella? Why is called as Magella, maybe? Oh, Magella's a long story. I mean, Magella, excuse me, my headphone, my earphone was about to fall out. Um, uh, my parents bought, uh, bought uh, set, set, went farming in mm. uh, after World War II, at 1948, and needed a name for the farm. My mother, being a very good Catholic lady, had a devotion to an Italian saint called St. Gerard Magella, the patron saint of mothers in the old Catholic tradition. So she called the farm Magella. The vineyard became Magella because it was on the Magella property. Oh, okay. And the wine became Magella because we couldn't think of anything else to call it. So, you know, as I, I obviously don't speak Cantonese, couldn't, couldn't understand what you were saying before. But, you know, Kunawa is way down, bottom end of South Australia. Yeah. And uh, we have a beautiful patch of... Uh, of um, about uh, 400 acres of 100 and we've got about 70 hectares, 80 hectares of grapevines that are very special in very special country. Mm. But when we talk uh, about um, um, Kunurara, is it the, the soil? I think it's one thing we must, you know, talk about it. How is um, How special is the soil? It's absolutely special, Frankie. The soil is the reason uh, that I'm here talking to you guys. You know, Kunawara is literally, for those of you listening, and Ben, you've been here, I mean, it's uh, a bit remote. You know, we're, we're four hours driving south of Adelaide and five hours driving from Melbourne. So we're a bit in the middle of nowhere. People would wonder why, uh, why, is, why, why, is, why is Kunawara there? Kunawara there because it's based on a strip of absolutely fantastic soil. One of the great viticulture, one of the great vineyard soils of the world. And that's not just me saying that. I've spoken with soil scientists from all over the world who have looked at it and said, this is magic soil. This is, this is great, as, as, they are, as you will find in other parts of the world as well. But this is very, very good soil. And the climate, you put the whole, you know, the French have this word, hello, it's me. Um, that this whole word called terroir, which basically means the feel, the vibe of the place, and uh, soil and climate uh, are the two things that interact. And then, of course, with the people who, who are out there growing grapes and making wine. Um, I suppose it's a partnership. When you look at the whole thing, it's a partnership between the people who are growing the grapes, which is us, the people who are making the wine, which is us. At the end of the day, people like Watson's because we need you in Hong Kong to have it there and distribute it. And then, of course, we can't do without all the people watching us because they're the ones who drink it. And, and to tell you the truth, they're probably the most important ones Everyone's at the end of the day. Without them, we're going broke, all of us. So thank you very much for drinking it. So, so Did I go on too long, Frankie? No, no, it's no, good. No. It's good. It's yeah. perfect. It's perfect. So, so Prof, um, you just mentioned the, um, you have a spe very special um, soil that we can see on the screen. So it's called Terra. Uh, so it's a uh, it very high uh, mineral hmm. uh, uh, rich uh, soil. I, 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 as we can see. Um, so usually for for me, if I I want, I need to introduce um, um, the the wife from Kunora to my friends or customer, then I will ask them to try the cabinet because they asked me what is famous sure. for. 
Yeah. And you always have a very distinctive uh, aroma and, and, and flavor yeah. that I can find from your region. Um, so Frankie, yeah. my, before we ask Pro, I, I know Pro can, can, can uh, describe a thousand uh, min, uh, oh, sorry, words, uh, wine. about it. <laughs> He's been drinking this for his lifetime. Hmm. Um, so, Frankie, if I ask you hmm. um, to describe the cabinet from Kumara, hmm. how would you describe to, to 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 your friend? Yeah, because yeah, I also also currently I'm drinking them, you know, Cabernet Sauvignon from Machira. So when you're on the nose, you can feel that is you can feel a very distinctive cabinet style because you 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 can seldom find any other example in any other region because it's quite. You can feel the mineral, but at the same time, the most iconic thing is that you can feel those minty, yeah, yeah very minty, very you know, a little bit. Seems like a little, a little bit, yeah, mental, yeah, mental uh, or eucalyptus, yeah, eucalyptus, kind of. mental, yeah, those kind of um, aroma there. Yeah, and the uh, prop, um, correct us if I we, if we say something stupid. Um, so we we are drinking the wine. Uh, we've been drinking follow your wine for quite some time, and uh, when you came to Hong Kong. You also very generous to show some older older vintage from your private seller. So we follow the uh, the whole Magella story, uh, even though we can't visit you uh, 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 in in your place. Um, but very often that even though it's from South Australia, so people would think it's a warm climate. But when we drink the wine, we don't feel the heat. It's very balanced, uh, quite juicy, and also as uh, Frankie said. Um, uh, the minty character that usually we can pick up from the from the nose. Is it something to do with your farming or with the soil, or is all connected together? All, all of them, Ben. All of them. And when you brought out climate, you know, I was thinking today because we were talking you know, cool climate, warm climate, mm. which really, to tell you the truth, uh, I, I've got over that. I think I think we should all get over that. Mm. Um, the, it's it's people keep saying oh it's cool climate therefore it's like this or it's warm climate therefore it's like that. There is an optimum. There there is a, an optimum where grapevines really like to live. It, it's no different than you know growing bananas or growing durian or if I was in Singapore or or, yeah, or mangoes or something. There is a perfect climate to grow those things. The perfect place for grapevines uh, is, a, is an area where the soil is free draining. So the water goes straight through. They don't like wet, grapevines don't like wet feet, not for very long. They'll tolerate for a little while, but not for very long. They don't like soil that's too fertile. Because if it's too fertile, it gets up and you get too much leaf matter in it. Uh, you, you've got to get a balance between the fruit and the leaf that ripens it. And if it's too much either way, you're gonna get funny flavors. So if and so you don't want too much, you want it free drain, not too fertile. And then climate, you don't you're not worried about whether it's warm or hot. Grapevines will grow anywhere in the world. They'll grow in the tropics. They'll grow in Hong Kong. You know, the grape the, the grapes might be all that good, but the vines will grow there. I'm not I don't know about Antarctica, it might be a bit too cold, but what they really like is a cool to cold, wet winter, followed by a warm to hot, dry summer. They don't like summer rainfall. They don't like high humidity. That builds up fungus diseases within the vines and the grapes. We don't want that. We can protect them with fungicides, but we want to keep those down to a minimum. So the climate helps there. Um, we like, um, we're like warm, but not too warm. If it's just hot all the time, if you were, say, in um, a desert region or, let's say, some parts of Australia and some parts of the US, say, say the San Joaquin Valley in California or the Murray River Valley in Australia, where it's fairly hot all the time, the vines grow well, but you don't get quite the flavours that you get when everything varies. So you've got warm days, cool nights. You've got generally a coastal influence that helps that way. And then you couple it up with the, the periods where we get high pressure systems and low pressure systems. So we can be 35 degrees, 40 degrees Celsius. And then a cold, a cold system comes through and the next day we're 15 and we're all rugged up in jackets. And then we get another heat wave, then it gets cold again. Grapevines love that variation. 
It sounds complicated, but if you can put all that together, then you've got a fair chance where things are going to grow well. And if you look at the great regions of the world, uh, then you'll find that if you go to Tuscany, if you go to Bordeaux, if you go to the Brossa Valley, if you go to McLaren Vale, because I need to be talking about that later on, come down here to Kutawara, different variations on the same theme, but you've got a good balance between soil and climate. And if you can do that, if you can grow grapes with a lot of flavour, so the grapes themselves have got that character that you're talking about, Frankie's bringing out, talking them in the glass, then the object is to, is to get that in the bottle. Yeah. So, you know, just before vintage, you know, we'll go walking through the vineyards, you know, Tony, myself, Stephen, the son, and, uh, and Bruce, our winemaker, and Michael, our other winemaker, go through the vineyards together, just eating grapes. And you get them, you go in there and say, bite into it, and you get, that's the flavour we want. And then I'll, I'll look, at, uh, look at the winemaker. Put that in the bottle. Pick it tomorrow. Let's, let's pick it this afternoon. Let's, this, is, this is really perfect. And get it in there. If, if we can... Connection,对,一点问题。Amam,请,就,不会,我的,不会,我的,不会,我的,不会,我的,不会,我的,不会,我的,不会,我的,不会,我的,不会,我的,不会,我的,不会,我的,不会,我的,不会,我的,不会,
had all the characters of Coonawarra Cabernet that you were talking about before, the you know, the mintiness, the berries, the mulberries, the, the, all the characters that we like to look at in Coonawarra Cabernet, but easier on the acid and tannin, ready to drink younger rather yep. than, as you, as you alluded to earlier on, Ben, those other Cabernets will last forever. Mm. I think this one will too, but it's just a bit different. Softer in oak, um, more easy drinking, and also coming in at a, well, in Australia at a price that's somewhere between 20 and 30 Australian dollars. It retails in Australia for about $25. Yes. It's new to us. We've only had it for you know, six or eight months, and Hong Kong is one of the first international markets to, uh, to have it. There's a little bit into Canada. There's nothing into the UK. Um, and there's a little bit into Singapore. But you were the first, um, one of the first to get it. It's, wow. it's really starting to hit its straps. It's young. It's fresh. It's easy drinking. It's ready to drink now, which is why the, it fits into the scale with our musician, which I know you haven't. A lot of people drink the musician, which is, really one of the most popular ready to drink easy drinking wines in australia and you know it's it, it's famous now um the composer fits into that category the, the musician was always out there on its own in our range so we decided that you know, it needed a friend it needed it needed a school friend so we uh, we we gave it the composer as well the musician is a blend of course and the yep. composer is straight is straight cabernet and a good entry to Kunawara Cabernet, but then you know, the big boy that's there is very fantastic. I don't know whether you've ever seen our other Cabernet, the GPL 68, yeah. but I'll have to get some over to you. I think you've seen it. That is a big boy, and that will outlast me and probably even outlast you two guys. I mean, you know, you, my grandchildren will be drinking it. Prof, um, you, yeah, it took me a while to, uh, to remember the name, GPL. <laughs> Because uh, <laughs> you explained to me, but I still, I'm, I still cannot remember very well. Um, just, um, just to uh, uh, let uh, our audience know, so uh, possibly they, they, they are quite familiar with Magellan, because we have yes. been working with you for more than 20 years. And yes, uh, yes. in yes, Hong Kong, yes. we carry um, a few wine uh, from you. So you make a sparkling Shiraz. Uh, yes. which, of, yeah. which, of which you had, you were, Hong Kong was the first in the world. First market in the world, even before Australia, to get uh, to get the 2020 vintage of the Mozilla Sparkling Shiraz, which I think is one of our very best. Yeah, I, 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 I push you and also your team for, uh, every single day to make sure that we get we get uh, our arms our arms were being twisted by the guys from from Hong Kong people looking. They were very very twisty. <laughs> yeah. You got it. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. So, so the sparkling shiraz, I, we we don't we don't we don't talk it here, but uh, for all the audience, yeah, it's available now in Hong Kong because we air freight to Hong Kong. We don't ship to Hong Kong. So just to make sure that you have time to shop for your Christmas. Yeah. So the sparkling shiraz, we have a story. I talked to um, I think um, Peter. He said, so when yes. do you drink it? No, I drink it uh, on a Sunday brunch. So with a bacon, piece of bacon, yeah. uh, some 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 bread, and then there's my. Uh, uh, morning drink. Uh, so apart from it, it's really delicious. Apart from before this, you go any Ben, before you go any further, where you're over there, the one of the best uh, foods to have with sparkling Shiraz is Hong Kong style duck. Uh, go to your go to your get duck. Go to your duck vendor. Get him out with his cleaver. Boom boom. Tra, 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 tra. Uh, sit down and drink that with a bottle of sparkling Shiraz. Bacon and eggs are good in Australia, but with duck, it's a marriage made in heaven. Trust me. <laughs> right. So, guys, when you when you listen to us, that is still time to go to our shop to get one because yeah. our shop's still open. Um, so, yeah. apart from the sparkling shiraz, so Prof also make um, the musician, the, uh, musician yeah. which which is called the uh, wine wine of the year uh, by one yeah. estate. Uh, for 2018, which we still yeah. have the uh, wine to sell in Hong Kong. So it's yes. really, really, really a step of quality. I would say that uh, you should keep it. Um, and then uh, we, we just talked about the, the Cabernet uh, and also the composer, a new one. Then Prof also got a flagship wine called Malaya. And also, he also makes Shiraz. He doesn't only make Cabernet. Um, so if you got a chance to go to, uh, I don't know, 
uh, uh, to, to Australia, I don't know when. Uh, he also made a very delicious rosé. Uh, he doesn't make a lot, but it's beautiful. Like, mm -hmm. uh, um, how do I say? Uh, it's called Melody, and I remember how it, how, how, how it tastes. I begged Prof to give me some 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 white cherry in Hong Kong, but it's all gone. Sorry. So well, we have to get some more. You have to get some more. We have, we we've changed the name for Melody to just straight Magella Rose, better for marketing. Uh, and uh, and then there are a couple of others. I don't think you see the Magella Merlot, which we make in quite small quantities, but it's very yeah. good. Magella Shiraz, of course. Uh, the GPL sixty eight which was named after my father, George Patrick Min, GPL, right. uh, and uh, is, uh, is uh, I think, I think it's the best Cabernet on the market in Coonawarra today. It's expensive, but it's superb. Malia, you mentioned. Uh, we have a sparkling white, which you don't see, I don't think. It's a sparkling Riesling called uh -huh. Minuet. Okay. Um, I'll, have to get, I'll have to get some samples over. Yes, but I must, say that, I must say that, you know, you... To, your customers in Hong Kong are very lucky because they have a good range of Magellan skews to choose from. It's not going in there and trying to find the one bottle that's left on the shelves. I mean, in any of your stores, I don't know how many stores you have now. When I first went to Hong Kong, you had three. <laughs> we got more than Six. 10 times that. <laughs> yes, you had, uh, you had Central, you had uh, up in the mid-levels, of course, yep. on Staunton Street. And right. Stanley, that was about it. Yeah, yeah, you remember very well. It's a long time ago. <laughs> it doesn't look like you still remember. Hey, Paul, of course. I, okay, I, 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 I have to uh, share one story because we, we don't drink this wine today, but um, uh, I think, Frankie, you were there because two years ago when we had a, a, a Christmas uh, party in the office, we, we opened a bottle of the 1997 uh, the Malaya. Mm -hmm. And uh, I serve it blind to everyone, including Jeremy Stockman. Uh, and then we, when we smell it, Jesus, they said, did you open the Obion? So <laughs> what I'm saying here is uh, um, the, your wine aged very yeah. beautifully. And, uh, and uh, if you're patient enough, you get reward. And I think that's, that's a measure of the fact that, uh, look, I think we're control freaks home here. You know, we, we grow our own fruit because A, we've got a very good patch of ground, and B, they're mature grapevines, and after 50-odd years, we've got the hang of doing it. We've got used to doing it. Uh, we make all the wines in-house, two very skilled winemakers who don't want for anything when it comes to you know, uh, the equipment or the, and, and particularly the oak. It's good quality stuff, that whatever we do. So you know, if we're going to do it, do it properly. And uh, that's, I think, one of the reasons why these wines, they're really a bit of a holy grail, guys, in that they they open up well, reasonably young, as they are in front of you, but you can put them away for 10, 15, 20 years, if you can wait that long, and they will age just as well. And uh, not just the Cabernet, but the Shiraz. Um, uh, do you know who, Hugh and Hook in Sydney? Do you know Hugh and? Of course. Yeah. And he would rang me oh, a month ago and said, you know, Prof, I've just found three bottles in my cellar of 1996, a Malia, uh, a Shiraz and a Cabernet. I would have made it, they were all corked, so, like with cork closures. Yeah. So I would have sent him two bottles of each for review. I said, did you open them? He said, of course. Uh, he said the Malia was a, a touch musty, probably from the cork. He said the Cabernet tasted as good as he hoped it would, but the big surprise was the Shiraz, which he said was absolutely amazing. Now, coming from Hewan, uh, who's a very good palate, you know, a good friend, but, um, but a very good critic. I mean, he calls a shot a shot. If he doesn't like it, he'll tell you big time. Yep. Then uh, uh, that's, that's something. And I know that you and I have had little bets on how things will last. Signed <laughs> off on bottles, as, as you know, Ben. Uh, they, these, these are wines that will last really well. Even the musician, which was not designed to last, we went back and looked at the original 2004 vintage last year, and it's great, it's bloody fantastic. It you know, hasn't improved all that much, but it's still a lovely 
lovely drinking wine. These others, of course, will, will just change and evolve. And yeah. And all those things. But, I mean, it needs patience, which means, you know, you you, you, you buy something like the Cabernet to put down and you, you buy the composer to drink while it's aged. Yeah. Um, just tell you a little secret, um, um, because I do put aside some of the wine in the warehouse uh, yeah. to age for you. So if you, you, you want it now, just ask the, um, the store uh, if you want some older vintage of yeah. uh, Bacella. Yes, we can have <laughs> some to sell to you for your, for your special occasion. And you can be sure as soon as, um, as, soon as I we get the chance to be able you know, the, the world becomes free again, if that's the right word. I can't wait to get back to, uh, to Hong Kong and, and we'll, do, uh, we'll, we'll do some functions, we'll do some dinners. As you know, I like doing dinners rather with Western food. I like doing it with Asian food. I'm more than happy to sit down and, uh, and drink the sparkling Shiraz with the duck. You organise the duck, I'll organise the sparkling Shiraz. No problem. Absolutely. Deal. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Oh, you can yep. toss some pork in as well. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, Pop, yeah, we want, we don't want to hold you for so long. Yeah, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, on in the you know Friday night, and it's your birthday. Happy yeah, birthday! It is my birthday. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have said that, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, can I say can I say thank you, thank you to Watsons, thank you to um, to Clive who's helped organise all this, but more particularly thank you to all the all, all our wine customers in Hong Kong. I hear from many of them. And, you know, there used to be always a trickle coming out here to, to Australia and come to Salador and say, look, you know, we buy the wine at Watson's or we drink the wine in Hong Kong. Um, and uh, as a throwaway line earlier, but we, we need our customers. We're all, we're all in this industry as one big partnership. And, yeah. um, and that's what makes it great. I mean, I've been doing it for 50 years. and I, I, They've been the most enjoyable 50 years. I, I, can't, you know, I can't think of anything else I'd rather do. So thank you, Ben. Thank you, Frankie. Thanks, yep. everyone. Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Paul. Thanks, Paul. Yep. So, what a week day job, yeah. I'm going to go to Kunwa, right? So, I'm going to go to the channel. 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 I'm going to go to 即係誒，直情係喺 Edward 嚟嘅特電啲㗎。咁其實 Ben 以我所知就你就去過個 Vision 啊，其實係點樣個天氣同埋涼好多嘅咧？我你冇去過咩？我冇去過啊！我你講講唔切 ，OK？ 誒嗱誒，講少少誒 background 啦。咁今日我哋就誒、呃、就借得阿 Prof 咧，就同我哋講咗 Majella 啦。咁好啦，咁誒 Clare 其實邊度都係喺南部嘅。咁、嗯、通常啲南部咧，大家會記得話 Parosa 啊、McLean Vale 啊。咁就好少會提及 Clare 嘅，我唔係話佢唔唔唔唔出名嘅，佢都好出名嘅。點解講出名咧？因為誒佢、呃、一來我陣間會介紹佢一支好 iconic 嘅白酒啦 ，Riesling。咁、嗯、但係其實佢同一時喺個區咧都好出名做紅酒，做 Shiraz 嘅。誒、嗯呃、有一個例子係誒 Pampos 嘅 Grange 咧，誒、呃、其實咧佢因為佢係 multi region， 佢所有地方都攞嚟自己嘅。最靚啲時佢就會擺落去個 Grange 入邊嘅。咁 Clare Valley 咧，其實佢係佢其中一個地方咧，佢都會攞去做呢樣嘢嘅。同、嗯、埋有時有啲特別嘅年份咧，佢啲誒 special bottling 咧，都係專登喺嗰度揾嗰啲提子去 bottle 嘅。咁、嗯、所以其實 Clare Valley 咧，咁佢除咗係出名做陣間講嘅白酒之外咧，咁佢都好出名咧，做好出名嘅。係啦，啊，另外有一個好出名嘅 producer 叫 Jim Berry 啦，佢知阿媽啦，咁嗰支都係其中一支。成個澳洲最嘅出名嘅出嚟嘅，係啦。好啦，咁講翻個天氣先。嗱，嗰個天氣咧就會比起頭先 Cool Air 咧就會暖啲啲。嗯，但係暖啲，暖啲啲，但係咧唔係叫熱。點、嗯、解？因為其實 Clare Valley 嗰度咧，其實都好似一個長條形咁樣嘅。咁、嗯、你如果係去到嘅時候咧，我哋可以踩單車嘅。佢有個 trail 嘅，你可以踩單車遊曬所有啲邊日嘅。誒咁咁咁點解我覺得佢點解話俾你聽佢係會涼，即係佢唔係好熱咧？因為其實你踩上咧，你 feel 到你係向住個山坡邊踩嘅，咁佢係沿住係係慢慢誒一個 gentle slope 咧，慢慢再再再上。O K， 或者高海拔啲嘅，係啦，高海拔啲嘅。嗯。誒，咁佢都係佢屬於係，咁所以因為佢個嗰個嗰個氣候比較係唔係話比較誒 gentle 啲啦，咁所以佢可以適合去種白酒，嗯，同埋都可以種到啲好靚嘅。
葡酒。Terry 仲有一個好 iconic、legendary 嘅嘅嘅嘅酒莊叫做 Brandui。Brandui 啊 ，Brandui 都係喺嗰度嘅。咁佢就喺最尾嗰 part 度嘅。OK， 咁今日講我哋就唔係講紅酒，依個就唔係 Shiraz 嚟嘅喎，睇個顏色都知道。係啦，咁呢個咧就係、是、誒、呃、我其中一個好好喜歡嘅嘅葡萄酒，我都做咗好多年嘅誒 Grosset。咁佢嘅 winemaker 叫做 Jeffrey Grosset， 我哋叫 Jeff Grosset。咁誒、呃，我諗如果飲開酒嘅朋友或者讀開書嘅啲嘅誒。誒嘅朋友咧都應該聽過，如果要揾一支酒 ，Riesling 係全個澳洲最有代表性嘅話咧，誒、呃，我相信 Jeffrey Gossett 咧係絕對係最最最火紅嘅，係啊，最最火紅嘅一一一支酒嚟啦。咁誒，講翻少少嗱 ，Frankie 你都見過阿 Jeff 啦，嗯，咁我哋早排我哋先同佢喺 Zoom 做完一個嘅誒新年嘅嘅嘅嘅嘅嘅。咁我哋一呢份呢支咧就係二零二零年嘅，點解咧 ？Suppose 應該有二零二一年嘅，咁但係因為算期 delay 咗，咁、嗯、但係咧下個禮拜就到到啦，咁我哋就講飲住二零二零講佢本身嘅古仔，咁下個禮拜就開始要新嘅年份二零二一年嘅。咁誒 ，Jeffrey 哥頭先講咗咧，其實佢如果講佢係全個澳洲最出名嘅 Riesling 嘅 producer 咧，我諗應該都冇人會反對嘅。係。係啦，講佢呢個係全澳洲最出名嘅 Riesling 嘅啦，依支即係尤其是啲 Polar Scale 嘅。係啦，咁佢咧誒就有做三款嘅 Riesling 嘅，咁三款都係 Single Vineyard。咁佢最出名嗰款咧，就對最多人去去見到啫，就係、是、Polar Scale Riesling。咁 Polar Scale Riesling 係一個 Vineyard 嚟嘅。咁另外佢仲有一支叫做 Spring Bell， 同埋仲有另外一支咧就叫做 Alaya。咁三支都唔同嘅 style 嚟嘅。咁誒講翻誒 Polar Scale 點解咁出名咧？誒呢度其實就 show 到出嚟啦 ，Polar Shield 就 Polar Shield 邊嘅 ，Springfield 就另外一塊田嚟嘅，其實係啦。咁 Frankie， 你當你第一次聽到 Polar Shield 嘅時候，點解你好似即係你想試點樣去咁出名？啲人佢佢點樣形容佢嘅咧？啲人形容好似攋一嚿石咁樣，攋一嚿石頭。係啊，咁我即係去落去去落公園去攋嚿石頭都係啊，類似咁樣。即係我形容佢就係嗰啲 Mineral 嗰啲味好出啦。即係嗱，佢即係不過可能解釋翻先，即係 Riesling 啊，可能好多人。即刻諗到咧，就可能 German Riesling 啊、Cabernet 啊、Spanish 啊咁嗰啲咧。咁但係其實喺澳洲好多時出名嘅 Riesling 咧，咁其實都係真係凍咗嚟嘅，嗯、完全即係唔係嗰種，即係淨 Cabernet， 即係嗰啲甜度佢都冇，係真係 exactly 係凍咗。即係會唔會係咁講？即係如果我哋認知一般一般誒、呃、人認知嘅話、嗯、，Riesling 就係德國嘅 Riesling， 通常都係少少甜。嗯。咁誒、呃，其實除咗喺德國以外嘅地方咧，就好多地方嘅 reason 都係都可能會 dry 啲嘅，啊佢就好少好甜嘅。咁我哋今日講嘅澳洲嘅 reason 咧，大部分都係都係係 dry 嘅，咁即係佢係甜嘅。但係佢並唔代表佢冇果味嘅。咁呢支 Polar Shield 點解咁出名咧？咁講翻少少古仔先。咁、嗯、呢個酒莊就誒、呃，今年咧就係、是、踏入佢第四十年啦。咁、嗯、啊 Jeff 話俾我哋聽咧，佢點解佢咁中意誒鍾情於 reason 咧？就係佢喺細個嘅時候，佢老豆咧。咁啊，放工翻嚟，咁咧就誒誒攞啲酒，咁咧就俾大家食飯嘅時候一齊飲嘅。咁嗰支就係支 Riesling 嘅，咁就令到佢即係深從此就深深愛上咗佢。咁嗰陣時係十五歲，哦，十五歲，咁十六歲咧，佢就去咗澳洲一間好出名去讀 wine making 嗰啲溝渠嘅地方咧，好出名啦。咁所有嗰啲好勁嗰啲人咧，都喺嗰處，譬如誒 Peter Gale 啊，誒 Chris Springman 啦 ，Chris Springman 啊，或者係啊。啊、uh, ，Red Boss 或者係 Case 啊，佢哋全部都喺個喺嗰度讀，喺嗰度出嚟嘅。咁佢十六歲已經去去嗰度去嗰度讀過書啦。咁啊，廿一歲就畢業，跟住去去咗好多唔同嘅地方去做酒。咁佢都去過德國，去去去去去去學去去釀酒嘅。咁但係佢係喺一九八一年，應該大家睇聽嘅時候應該都未出世㗎啦。咁咧，佢就開始咗自己嘅酒莊，啊，用翻自己個姓氏嚟做呢個酒莊啦。係啦，咁其實佢雖然好出名，但係佢就係好細嘅。咁細到咧，佢個酒莊係幾大咧？我諗，如果以香港嘅 standard， 大概係一個運動場咁樣咯，體育館，嗯、即係正常嘅體育館啦，唔係嗰啲，唔係唔係嗰唔係嗰紅館嗰啲啊，係正常嘅體育館，即係得咁咁得真係細到誇張，即係得兩個籃球場咁大啫，係連埋 winery 連埋所有嘅。可能細過你間屋喎，阿 Ben。係應該細少少，細少少，如果攞放大鏡睇嘅話，啊，咁咁佢呢支就頭先阿 Frankie 講就係點解佢咁出名咧？就係、是、因為佢做到 style 咧。好好 precise， 誒、嗯、佢、呃、又夠 concentration， 咁同埋咧佢做到好好 detail 嘅，誒、呃、reason 咧我自己好中意飲嘅，因為有好多人形容佢係偏到話白嘅偏到話，即係話咧
。如果你個樣有先係懶嘅話咧，你冇辦法可以做到一支好嘅 reason 出嚟嘅。咁所以你冇辦法可以用啲 why making 嘅方法去令到你啲酒變好嘅。咁所以你需要每日好多時間咧，就落去個田度去 make sure 你啲提子咧。係係係係係最好。同埋我諗係好 show 到鐵娃嘅形體住，除咗同邊度攞一樣都係。嗯，係啦。係咁講開啲酒咧，嗱誒呢啲酒咧，咁其實個 style 係點樣咧？頭先講咗係 dry 啦，咁啊 Frankie 都講話，其實佢係誒好似好似奶頸嘅石頭咁樣嘅。嗯。因為佢嗰個 soil 咧係一啲叫 blue slate，blue slate 咧你係係好硬嘅，你啲你啲根咧你係冇辦法穿過去嘅。一定要係要繞過去咁樣生嘅，咁所以佢嗰啲嘅嘅嘅提子咧就唔會話好大粒，所以逼住咧就好細粒。咁因為好細粒嘅時候咧，誒咁佢就嗰啲嘅嘅嘅味道咧就會 concentrate 啲，咁佢就令到做到佢嗰個嘅 concentrate 出嚟。咁另外一樣嘢咧就係誒佢哋係誒係包蛋得嚟嘅，咁即是話佢哋冇用農藥，亦都冇用其他嗰啲嘅誒誒，非常之自然啦，或者 special 嘅嘢。咁所以佢嗰個好表現到佢本身嗰個地方，佢嗰個嘅誒誒誒氣候出嚟嘅，同埋所有都係 handy 嘅。嗯，咁佢呢啲酒咧飲落去嘅時候咧，咁你而家聞啲聞嘅時候咧，就都幾 minimal 好重啊。喺喺喺德國都有地方會揾到 boost 嚟，即係 boost 啦，好多 boost 嚟嘅，飲落去就好 minimal 嘅。我諗如果喺南澳嚟講，其實即係 Clare Valley 都算係一個好好獨特嘅存在，因為其實講南澳嚟講，好多人一聽就講 Barossa Valley 啊嘛 ，Clare Valley。都係講緊一啲好大隻嘅 Shiraz 啦，但係呢個 B B 又唔係即係一個好清爽、好即係都叫高酸咁樣，但係好舒服嘅嘅 Whistling， 即係其實即係可能好多人都唔知原來南澳都出名就出產 Whistling， 係即係呢個特別嘅存在嚟，我自己覺得。誒、呃，阿 Jeff 同你講咧話，二零二一年呢個年份咧，佢係都唔係一個大年嚟嘅，咁比起二零二零年咧 ，style 上面咧佢就會 firm 啲 structure 少少，咁、嗯、佢可以而家飲，亦都可以 age 嘅。咁佢佢佢話呢個係係佢收翻過去嗰十年入邊咧，其中個最好嘅年份。咁、嗯、所以當下個禮拜啲貨翻到嘅時候，如果大家有機會去去鋪頭嘅話，可以揾住嚟試下。係啊，大家可以有少少耐性，咁就下個禮拜就到噶啦。不過同埋提一提啊，咁其實再講多次啦，因為我哋依家係做緊呢個南澳嘅推廣嘅，咁所以咧其實就我哋今日講嘅就全部都做緊 promotion， 咁你可以喺鋪頭揾到啦。再加上啦，咁其實如果依段時間直至,直至到十月六號都係嘅，咁買滿一千二百蚊南澳嘅酒咧，就會送一支頭先我哋講嘅文爵啦 ，Sparkling Shiraz，Sparkling Shiraz 係啦，係啦。咁淨係而家依個禮拜開始，直至到四個禮拜啊，十月六號，係啊。OK， 咁我哋咁我講完呢支 V 城嘅時候，咁我哋下個係啦。咁我哋依家去到咁北，咁我哋不如講去翻南少少啦，南下去翻近呢個 Adelaide 少少嘅。咁其實就其實喺 Adelaide 嘅。西南部近海嗰度嘅，咁呢個就叫做 Macaron Fell 嘅，係、嗯、啦，咁 Macaron Fell 咁即係、嗯、其實佢個地方咧，其實佢就即係和暖啲啦，咁比起 c a r e l l 咁但係咧佢就未去到好熱嘅，因為其實種因為佢近海嘅，咁因為近海咧有個 m o d e r i n g effect 嘅，係啊，咁就因為海風吹埋嚟啦咁樣嘅，咁但係同時間啊，咁其實講一講個地形先，其實咧佢就好平嘅。即係嗰個地形嘅，佢即係唔係話去到好高山啊咁嗰啲嘅，係啊，咁誒呢個圖你睇到嘅，咁其實佢唔係話嗰啲即係好好斜嗰啲 slope 啦，都好平咁樣，一種滿曬提子，同埋你望到最遠近太陽嗰度咧，其實你望到個海嘅、嗯，即係可以 feel 到啦。其實有陣時會有啲海風吹埋，咁就有翻即係涼少少 ，moderate 翻嗰個 climate 嘅。咁誒就頭先 Frankie 講話佢喺邊個位置就係近 Adelaide 嘅，咁如果揸車或者搭的士話咧都 OK 嘅，一個鐘到咧，一個鐘到係啊，就好快就到，好快嘅。咁佢嗰度都有好多即係好靚嘅餐廳啊，有嘅酒莊啊，出名嗰啲酒莊都喺嗰度出名。咁講一個好靚嘅酒莊咧，今日呢個就絕對係啦，即係呢個就叫 Darren 啦、啊，因為有個地標佢起咗出嚟，咁係成個旅遊局咧。都係將佢變咗一座係啦，咁其實呢個咧就叫 The Crib 啦，即係一個石仔咁樣啦。咁其實呢個 The Crib 咧就唔係起好耐嘅啫，咁二零一七年開誒落成，咁就開始開放嘅。咁啱啱就見到佢嗰個莊主啦，咁啊 Chester 啦，咁其實 Chester 都好 iconic 嘅一個人物嘅，即、嗯、係見到佢長頭髮，即係好有性格，好似藝術家咁樣啦。咁即係同埋再講啦。咁其實佢起咗之後啦，啱啱呢兩年咧，佢都係比評委個 World's Best Wine 一頭五十嘅喎。係。咁今年咧就即係佢 rank 喺三十一，咁其實諗下都好誇張，全世界嘅酒莊即係咁多靚嘅酒莊，佢係即係排第三十一
。係啦，同埋你見到喺後面咧，呢、這個呢、這個扭計式咁樣物體咧，咁其實全部都係玻璃嚟嘅。嗯。咁佢其實佢搞咗佢，起碼都成三四年咧，先至可以。即係誒誒完咗工，因為係嗰個玻璃咧，佢特登好難去做，佢要喺意大利揾翻翻，因為佢佢要佢要經過好多唔同嘅批准。咁誒誒，但係 Anna 而家就出咗嚟嘅效果咧，就十分之好嘅。我記得佢阿爸同我講嘅時候就用咗好多錢去起，用用咗佢好多錢去起，所以你千祈都要唔好減訂單。係啦，千祈要繼續繼續繼續攞嚟走，所以我哋 keep 住要要幫佢買走。係啊，同埋要你走，其實。各位觀眾就如果開翻關咧，其實如果想去澳洲，其實你去 a d e l a i d 我哋都非常建議去呢個酒莊嘅。點解咧？因為其實佢成個呢個樓計式啦，其實佢裏面有好多唔同嘅嘢嘅。咁其實佢地下有個廟私人啦，咁跟住之後上去又有餐廳，咁又有 tasting room 咁樣嘅。跟住同埋咧，咁因為其實 Macaulay 即係你見到啦，咁其實佢呢個 cube 咧就喺啲葡萄藤中間嘅，佢喺啲 vinya 中間。咁同埋再喺之前嗰個 s 你見到呢，成日成個地形好平嘅，其實你企咗喺最高嗰層望呢，其實基本上呢，你望曬成個麥卡倫嗰個 l a n s c a p 嘅，即係都好特別嘅一個 experience 嚟嘅，係啦，好開揚嘅，佢有餐廳，又有 tasting room， 咁你有五層高，咁你有好多唔同 experience， 同埋佢好多入邊好多玻璃整怪嘢，係啊，嗰啲廟私人咁嗰啲嘢，你入到去先佢先會知道嘅，咁如果真係開翻關嘅時候，你就話俾佢聽，我可都可以幫你 book 嘅。O K， 咁講翻啲酒先，我哋飲咩酒啊？係啊，講翻啲酒，依、這個就我諗，如果係留意開澳洲酒嘅人咧，依、這個係真係 icon 一定識嘅。依、這個就叫 Dead Arm Shiraz， 係、嗯、啊。咁其實就如果講起即係、就是、特別係如果講緊 Macaulay 啦，其實我諗個個人,個人都一定會飲過，個個人都一定會識呢啲酒噶啦。咁、嗯、其實講翻個名先，咁點解會叫 Dead Arm 咧？死手喎、嗯嗯，即係其實咧個緣故咧，就係、是、因為其實葡萄藤你種咧，其實基本上咧係有。兩隻手嘅，即係誒嗰個葡萄藤佢分開兩邊咁樣去生嘅。咁但係咧，咁點解會叫 dead arm 咧？咁就因為咧，佢患咗一種誒病咧，就叫 dead arm disease。咁如果學名就 YouTube 大 fat 嘅。咁你見到個圖啦，咁其實就係咧，咁就係佢如果患咗呢個病咧，咁佢有一隻手咧，佢就會唔會再出產葡提子嘅，即係死咗咁樣嘅。咁如果咁樣嘅話，咁當然啦，其實某程度上係唔好咧，因為其實你嗰個產量係會低咗嘅。咁但係同一時間咧，即係雙面印啦，咁其實就～因為產量低咗咧，咁其實咧佢另外用一邊手嗰啲葡萄籽咧更加 concentrate， 咁嗰啲 fruit 就會更加靚。咁所以咧，咁其實依個病咁佢亦都留低咗好多佢，因為依個特別喺佢自己邊入嗰度嗰啲嘅，咁佢 source 翻一啲係有依個即係啱 disease 嘅葡萄籽藤嗰度去做嘅。咁佢亦都用翻依個名啦，咁就叫做 dead arm shiraz。O K， 係啊。咁咪即係佢會將所有養分就會 concentrate 喺另外一啲提子嗰度，咁所以佢嘅味道，佢嘅質素就會好啲啦。係啊，咁我都覺得幾特別嘅，即係佢尤其是用翻呢個名，即係好 icon， 即係成樣嘢。我以為係飲緊新年份喎，但係點解好似有啲？誒，我哋就有啲舊年份啫。O K， 咁呢支舊年份係二零一三年，咁係係酒莊直播出嚟嘅。係啦，咁其實我哋嗰陣時都有買嘅。係啊，咁其實可以隨時去我哋門市嗰度都會揾到嘅。不過其實講翻呢個個味咧，咁其實就～誒，因為頭先同頭先 Kundora 一定係好唔同啊，即係 Kundora 佢個 cabinet 啦，咁啊 Sophie on 啦，咁同埋呢一個就即係似係即係本身我哋成澳洲飲到 Shiraz 嗰啲味，咁但係因為 Kundora 咧佢呢個地方佢嗰個特色就係、是、其實佢有啲好似啲好即係啲 spicy 啊 mineral 嗰啲味嘅，但係同時間佢都係好 vibrant， 即係好好濃烈嘅 fruit 味，但係佢又有啲即係有都幾嗰啲 spicy 嗰啲味，誒、呃、飲落去好似頭先咁樣啦，你唔覺得好似啊？好大隻啊！嗯，誒、呃，即係以前啲好多嘅人嘅 comment 就話係澳洲酒做酒精好高啦，好天啦，咁樣係咯 ，rich 啦，飲啊好流啦。嗯，咁但係呢個飲落去，我又好似唔係好覺。係啦，即係其實佢都都係即係佢未去到嗰啲令到你飲一杯又唔想飲嗰啲好濃，即係其實都好 fresh 咁樣嘅 style。我諗呢個係其中嘅分水嶺咧，就係、是、由二零一一一一一二開始咧。咁佢哋就轉咗佢哋嗰個嘅誒、呃、釀造方式，釀造方式，咁就冇咁追嗰種嘅 concentration， 唔係唔係追嗰種非常濃啊、非常大隻嗰種 style 啊。咁同埋呢支酒就係 age release 啦，二零一三年直接喺酒莊度 excel 出嚟嘅，因為佢每年咧就是、age 咗十年之後咧，佢就會推一批舊年份出嚟嘅。咁所以你見到喺個 sticker 上面，唔係喺個 bottle 上面咧，就寫住一個叫做誒誒、uh, uh, museum release 嘅。咁就係話俾你聽，佢直接入個廠度出嚟嘅。
不過其實我自己覺得佢又即係啱 Jurassic 嘅，佢新年份即係我哋依家新年份 promotion， 即係其實新年份其實佢都係已經係好啱嘅，不過由個 food 就會再 content 俾即係係啦，即係如果你想試下啲舊年份我年度嘅 A 組之後會變做咩嘅話咧，咁呢個咧就可以俾到係呢、這個好少啲嘅，即係同埋因為始終同埋坊間就有陣時都好難揾到啲 age 組嘅，有有仲有喎，佢係 school cap 嘅，嗱千祈唔好驚 school cap， 因為 school cap 嘅話咧 ，make sure 咧佢唔會有 cut 嘅，係啊係啦，咁所以你每一次開嘅時候咧。都 make sure 啲酒咧係唔會壞嘅，係啊，依、這個好緊要啊！有陣時如果你 age 咗好耐，跟住最尾點知發覺原來嗰啲酒係有問題嘅，即係你即刻好似個心揦住咁樣。你翻到去同我我哋同事講，佢佢都幫你唔到嘅，<笑>因為佢哋都唔知道嘅。咁<笑>但係如果 school cap 就冇咗呢個，係啊，冇咗呢個煩惱咯，係、okay. 咯、okay. okay. ，好，咁我哋我哋講完講完 McLaren 嘅嘅樹啦，咁我哋會唔會推出佢另外一個嗱冇出名嘅？誒會啦，就去到我最愛嘅 Browser Bay 啦。咁其實 Browser Bay 佢個 vision 咧，其實佢都係近 Adelaide 嘅，咁但係佢就會喺誒 Adelaide 嘅東北邊。咁佢內陸少少啦，佢冇受嗰個海洋嗰個影響咁犀利。咁其實佢就一般都係和暖嘅。咁其實同埋講翻先，咁就係、是嗯頭先我哋一開頭嗰陣時講到南澳其中一個最得天獨厚嘅地方咧，就係佢哋有好多嘅超級老藤啦，即係好多過百年嘅老藤咁樣，係啦。咁其實好多嘅超級老藤咧，咁就係都會喺呢個 region 嘅，即係都喺 Browser Valley。咁、嗯、其實世界上已知最老嘅 c h i r a s e t 亦都喺 Browser Valley 嘅。咁佢就係另外一個牌子啦。咁其實佢就叫 Freedom 嘅，係啦。咁嗰個就其實佢就係最老咧，係去到一八四三年，嗯，係啦。即係其實哇，好誇張，一八四三年，即係其實咧經歷過兩次世界大戰啦，即係都仲喺度依然仲健在。我諗唔到前日嗰啲我都諗唔到，點都唔多。咁<笑>但係如果我哋眼前呢啲酒咧，誒呢啲酒係嚟自邊個 producer 啊？呢、這個咧就嚟自一個哇，即係呢個係我嘅最愛啊，因為其實呢個嚟自就係一個澳洲一個最出名嘅 wine maker 就叫 Chris Spring。咁、嗯、其實佢本身 Chris Spring 咧佢就唔係澳洲人嚟嘅，咁其實佢就係誒紐西蘭人。咁但係咧，佢就即係至少就接觸到紅酒啦。咁跟住之後咧，就去咗澳洲。咁之後，因為佢用去咗即係澳洲最出名嘅一個釀造誒紅酒學校 Rose Murphy 啦。咁其實同時間佢都認識咗好多，即係同佢同佢同期都係一啲猛人嚟嘅，即係譬如 c a s a 啊咁樣啦，同埋誒紐西蘭嘅第一個 Y 誒 M W Michael 咁係啦，咁 Kumar River 嘅 owner 咁亦都係佢嘅同學嚟嘅，係係啦。咁 Chris Wilson 咁其實。講翻點解佢即係佢咁嘅點解咁中意佢咧？誒點解我咁中意啊？誒、这、呢個先之後先講，因為之後講到個酒精啊或者個味就會明白嘅。咁首先講到點解咁包庇先？咁其實因為咧，我諗如果你講到誒澳洲最出名嘅紅酒啦，咁我諗兩支大家嚟諗到啦 ，Pinot Grand 啦，咁最出名噶啦，一個 icon 嚟嘅。咁另外一啲咧就係、是、誒叫做誒就喺 Eden Valley 嘅，咁就 Hanchi 嘅 Hill of Grace 嘅，係啦，咁就。兩個都即係大家，我諗所有中意澳洲酒嘅人咧都知道㗎啦。依兩支嘅簡直就係殿堂級最 top 嘅澳洲 Shiraz 嘅。咁但係咧、嗯呃，只有一支，基本上一支有啲酒可以同佢哋並駕競列嘅啫。咁就係 c h r i s t i a n 做嘅一支酒。咁咧就以前就叫 Free Rivers 嘅，咁依家就叫誒誒 Browser Rangers Dry Grown 嘅 Browser Rangers 嘅。係係啊，咁就係同佢哋並排。係啦，咁其實所以基本上你可以睇得出佢個風格啦。咁回答翻你頭先個問題，即係點解咁中意 Chris Wilson 啦？咁其實我覺得 Chris Wilson 就佢嗰個 style 就非常之獨特嘅、嗯，即係誒、嗯，其實佢有誒，除咗佢喺澳洲有洋酒之外啦，咁、嗯、其實佢有好多 side project 嘅，即係譬如啦，咁我哋嗰陣時亦都有賣嘅，咁喺誒西班牙，咁佢有個地方叫誒、嗯、Camo de Boca 嘅，咁 Camo de Boca 咁佢有個合作嘅 project 咧，就叫 El Tom Moncayo， 咁佢嗰度做咧就唔係做 Shiraz 嘅，咁就叫 Granacha， 即係 Granacha， 但係其實咧你好飲得出咧，即係。一飲嗰啲酒咧，你就知道誒、呃、會係，即係你會估係 Chris Wilson 做嘅，因為佢係做到一個好獨特嘅 style 嘅，即係好濃郁，誒、呃、多桶嘅。但係多桶其實我覺得唔係一個問題嘅，只要做到 balance。同埋同你講翻先，即係其實佢做啲酒咧，佢做嗰個方法咧，佢 open top 嘅 fermentation， 再用 wine yeast 咧，即係誒佢唔係用一啲 nurture 嚟 yeast 嘅，即係用啲野外嘅酵母咁去做咯。其實佢所有嘅酒基本上都係極高酒精嘅，譬如啦，我哋飲呢支 North Browser Shiraz。其實係十六度酒精嘅，咁但係咧、哦，你飲落去咧就係完全唔覺，即係呢個係即係佢做得最好，嗱，一最好就係嗰種 balance， 係啊，即係呢個就大師級嘅功架嚟，我自己覺得。我記得我哋去佢屋企試酒嘅時候咧，我同你哋講啦，話冇咧啊，嗯，因為啲唔中意
。咁但係其實你又唔係被逼飲曬嘢，你哋中意嚟，真係。跟住我記得嗰陣時咧，我去第三次之後，佢問我：你想唔想要 speak to 我？嚇，我可以 speak 嘅咩？唔知咯，咁但係因為啲酒好好飲嘅時候，我哋就全部都吞曬落肚啦。係啊，係啦，咁佢佢佢誒 ，Frank 講得講得，我好同意嘅就係佢教曉我哋咩叫做誒 balance。嗯，你雖然佢係高酒精，但係你唔會覺得係乸喉嘅。係啊，即係佢即係嗱，佢雖然高酒精啦，但係其實我覺得咧係飲落去咧，你嗰刻你吞落去，你都唔覺係咁高酒精嘅。係啊，係啊，係啊。咁所以佢係一個好好犀利嘅人嚟嘅。係啊，同埋佢好。佢好專應啲幫佢去種提子嘅嗰啲嘅葡萄農，咁我記得上兩,兩年前兩年前啦、嗯，兩年前佢嚟香港嘅時候咧，咁佢都帶埋佢去買提子，幫佢種提子嗰個嘅誒誒誒阿阿柯佛嚟香港，咁佢咧就會叫佢咧係叫佢講，佢自己唔講，佢就話我想話俾你聽，其實啲提子咧係由呢位人。誒呢呢呢呢呢呢呢個呢個呢位男士咧，去幫佢做，佢所以先可以做到咁靚嘅提子出嚟嘅。咁所以變咗佢就誒阿 AJ Hoffman 同埋 Kristina 咧，佢哋係一個合作模間。咁你見到喺左手邊入邊，喺個相入邊咧，咁誒望左手邊咧就係嗰啲亞東文卡爾啦，就係佢嗰個誒喺西班牙 project 啦。咁右手邊嘅就係佢喺 Eden Mary 誒同埋喺 Barossa 嘅嘅嘅嘅酒啦。咁誒仲有一個咧，我係之前應該幾個月前我同佢傾過偈咧。佢有支樹啦，喺西班牙做嘅。哦，係啦，咁應該翻緊嚟㗎，自己都有機會試。應該就係、是。係啊。不過其實講翻 Chris Ferrer 啦，即係其實我都好想講，即係啊左手邊著住西裝褸嗰位就係 Chris Ferrer 啦，即係你可以睇到佢個身形都真係幾大隻嘅，即係好高大、好厚，即係你 feel 到佢好大隻咁樣，好健碩嗰啲人。但係佢講嘢好斯文嘅喎，好細聲嘅喎。同埋咧，我我會咁形容嘅，我飲佢嗰啲酒咧，即係我都會，我覺得係好似佢嗰個佢個 character。即係咧，嗱佢外形啦，即係好大隻咁樣，你以為會話好勁啦？即係有啲都有啲都驚咁樣，我哋見到有咁嘅人。即係你嗱，你飲落去咧，即係你 feel 到佢初頭係即係好 robust 嘅 food 咁樣。但係其實咧，佢裏邊佢係有佢細膩，即係好 polish 嘅地方。即係我我會用呢四個字嘅鐵漢柔情去形容嘅。係，勁喎！唔係咁係係我我同意嘅。咁做翻我哋有有我哋有多啲機會接觸到唔同嘅 wine maker 咧。同佢傾個偈，食個飯，誒飲下酒。其實你知道佢嗰個 character 咧，或多或少咧，其實好表現到喺啲酒入邊嘅。咁頭先講，譬如誒 Jeffrey Gosser 咧，佢又係唔講嘢嘅，誒或者講得好細聲咧，即係佢好似係一個啲誒知識分子，就好 intellectual 嘅。咁啊，佢佢佢講曬所有佢點樣做，點樣做俾你。你飲佢啲酒咧，就慢慢 get 不到佢嗰啲嘢味道走出嚟。咁頭先啊啊啊 Prof 啦啊 Jeff 啦，咁佢係係誒。個人就樂觀啲嘅，多誒、呃、即係中意講嘢嘅。咁你 feel 到佢啲酒咧，都係比較係誒 friendly 啲嘅。係你會容易飲，中意飲多啲嘅。咁啊 ，Chester 咧，佢係一個誒、呃，你唔好唔你估唔到佢搞搞咩嘅藝術家。係啦係啦。咁佢啲酒好性格嘅，每個年份都可以唔係好一樣味道嘅。因為佢話俾你聽，呢、這個年份俾咗呢個 character 嘅時候，佢就跟翻佢呢樣去做翻。係啦。咁其實不過講翻呢啲酒個歷史先，因為嗱頭先我哋 show 話最貴嗰支啦，咁其實最貴嗰支誒 Browser Rangers 啦，咁其實就誒 Chris Brown 喺佢自己醫生翻嚟屋企門口嗰塊田喺度 source 嘅啲葡萄子嘅，咁但係我哋今日飲呢支咧，咁其實佢叫 North Browser Venus 嘅 North Browser Shiraz， 咁其實就係頭先 show 嗰兩位仁兄啦，咁其實佢做個即係合作咁樣啦，咁其實因為依一個酒咧，咁佢 source 喺誒 Hoffman Family， 即係頭先另外一位 Asian Hoffman 嘅屋企嘅 Vineyard 嗰度嘅。誒、嗯、咁其實就係點解會叫 North Browser 咧？因為 Hoffman Family 邊人咧就係喺 Browser 嘅北部，咁一個地方叫 Ebenezer 嘅。咁其實佢就好多個 generation 都係喺 Ebenezer 嗰個地方度種提子嘅。係、嗯、啊，咁所以其實你諗下，如果好多個 generation 喺度，即係其實種咗好多年啦。其實依啲酒都係 source 咁啲好老嘅提子，因為其實 Hoffman Family 邊人咧，其實佢最老嘅提子係去到一八八八年開始種，係、嗯、啊，即係咁過百歲嘅老頭。同埋佢哋話俾佢話俾我哋聽話係喺誒即係 Browser 咧，就其實都唔係話好細嘅地方啦。咁佢都有分喺北邊，就還是喺南邊啦。咁如果南喺北邊嗰啲咧，其實就比較凍啲嘅。咁凍啲，所以醬醬出嚟嘅酒咧就會係 elegant 啲嘅。咁所以 that's why 佢哋係 focus on 喺嗰邊嘅提子去 source 翻嚟去做嘅酒啦。嗯。好，咁今日我哋就介紹咗四個產區啦。咁其實初頭啦，咁開波我哋就有誒。啊 ，Prof 啦，咁係講 Cunarara， 其實我哋 recap 翻啦 ，Cunarara 其實佢就係一個好特色嘅 soil， 誒 Terra Rossa， 咁令到佢嗰啲 cabinet 啦，咁就會有好特別嘅一啲
面前嘅 character 嘅，係係啦。咁嗱有我哋咁有嗰度出名 character 啦。咁之後我哋再去翻好北邊，咁去到 Care Valley 嘅。Gary Valley 因為佢嗰個、嗯、海拔就高啲嘅，去到四百到六百個 meters、嗯、高嘅。咁其實佢嗰度咧最出名嘅 Regional Hero 即係做 Whistling 嘅。咁誒，哥、嗯、成就係其實都差唔多係嗰個最 top 嘅 Whistling 葡萄站啦，即、嗯、係其中一個最 top 啦。咁其實依個就係即係南澳，即係唔好以為佢只係做紅酒出色，即係唔好以為只係做 Cabernet s a u v i g n 出色。咁其實做 Whistling 都即係可以有出色嘅白酒出產嘅。即係喺南澳入邊，除咗揾到好靚嘅紅酒之外，係啊，白酒都會有嘅。系啦，咁之後啦，咁第三個我哋又南下啦，咁去返近 a d e l a i d e 咁其實去到近海邊有個地方叫 McKenna Bell 啦，咁其實 McKenna Bell 又平地啲，咁但係因為佢始終近海啊，咁佢受到個海嗰個影響啦，咁其實 moderate 返啲 effect， 即係咁佢唔會，即係佢未去到超級熱，因為佢有個海風吹返返嚟，係啦，咁但係 McKenna Bell 嗰啲 s h i r a z 佢哋出名做 s h i r a z 咁其實呢，依家就 Grand National 出名嘅，咁但係我哋今日就唔講住啦，咁不過佢 Rising Stars 嘅，咁我哋去到兩百。最后咧，咁我哋亦都会讲下佢啲 Grand Ash 嘅，系啦。咁另外到最后啦，咁最出名就 Browser Valley 啦。咁我哋今日就呢个 iconic 嘅 Wine Maker Chris Wingman 有嚟帮你知。咁 Browser Browser Valley 又平地少少，虽然 Browser 里边另外有个地方叫 Eden Valley 嘅，咁但系我哋今日 focus 喺 Browser Valley 啦。咁平地少少，咁通常都系诶 food 非常之 concentrate 嘅，即系大力啲嘅。咁同埋佢呢个地方最得天独厚咧，就又系好多个百年嘅老坛嘅。嗯。O K， 咁即係如果我哋要去，即係喺澳南澳嘅時候揾好多唔同嘅酒飲嘅時候咧，咁都都唔少選擇喎。係啊，可以嗱去東南、東南北都得，西就唔得啦，因為 Adelaide 去西就係海邊。O K， 咁如果嗱誒，咁<笑>、呃、我哋今日都差唔多㗎啦。咁其實琴日都見到我哋有有嗰先收啦，咁今日又有啦。嗯咁我哋誒嚟緊下個星期會星期幾會有下？嗱，如果誒、嗯、就星期四咯，唔係星期四我哋都有嘅。星期四我哋就我哋會去到歐洲嗰邊不過，係啊，我哋會 L S A S 嘅。咁但係如果我哋下個禮拜咧，亦都有兩集嗰陣之後嘅。禮拜三咧，我哋會繼續我哋嘅南澳之旅嘅。O K。誒，咁下個禮拜三七點咧，咁誒繼續 join 我哋啦。咁我哋會講下誒南澳，咁佢有啲咩好特別嘅餐廳咧？如果開關之後，我哋一定要去嘅。O K。係啦，咁其實全部都好快嘅啫。你 Adelaide， 即係你直接飛 Adelaide 啦。Adelaide 去其實你全部都係揸一個鐘車程度咧，咁就已經去到㗎。O、okay. K。好，咁今日時間就差唔多啦。咁我哋下個禮拜三再見。好啦 ，Thank you，Thank you。